days where I forget things. You know, it's not that I forget my memories being wiped. I believe is that possible? Well, yeah. And the the military has been working on memory erasing drugs for quite some time, and uh, it, the the CIA, the MK Ultra experiments that were exposed. They wanted to create a programmed assassin that could commit a crime, forget it, and pass a polygraph in case they were ever asked about it. So I'm sure they're just doing memory uh, experiments with it. The memory experiment, is all, is that possible to be uh, remotely inflicted as well without yeah. drugs? Yeah, absolutely. Under the right circumstances. Right. Now, we're not talking every moment of every no, second. No, 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 no. Under no, the right just, circumstances. It's just yeah. certain moments of my day. Yeah. You know, I completely forget. You know, it's like I have no recollection of what happened. Um, also, there's something um, called forced speech, man. I uh, and it's possibly going to, you know, be the reason why I won't be around anymore. But um, I have these days of where I can be sitting talking to you, and I feel a few vibrations, and I feel like something, you know, go through me. The next thing you know, I'm saying words that I would never say. I mean, we can have a whole conversation. And it's not even me talking. Well, you know? yeah, and that, you know, you're getting into a very complex topic. But uh, initially, that capability uh, was used to screw up the speech of potential politicians. And so they're testing it, they're improving it. But it, let me ask you, doesn't it feel like Tourette's almost? Yeah. Something that yeah. you're. You, you're saying things that you would never come out of your mouth, and they don't have to be, you know, swear words. Per no, se. no, no. And this is again, like I said, very complex. Your audio co cortex has been mapped, and there are also always piping in subliminal messages into your brain. I mean, you're on, you're on the list, you're on the network, the mind network, and so some of that will come out through your own motor cortex, the actions of verbiage. Um, it's a weird sensation. I know it's going to be difficult for you to describe, but it's quite common amongst TIs in a certain... Uh, Why is he saying this, you know? What's forcing him to say these kind of things? I yeah. mean, I could be forced to say some of the meanest things. Well, there, there are things called chatterbots that I worked on um, that can be integrated into this weapon system that constantly cause the mind to talk to this you know, person or perceived person it's actually yeah. it's a computer and it'll keep the mind spinning but that bot when in the right conditions can cause you to speak some of its language and these are not programmed nicely these are demons I mean, they're very bad uh, you know vocabulary that's going to be cloned into your head and into your mouth so you and I have a conversation. This has happened to me before. It gets to the point of where I'm repeating what I'm hearing. Yeah. You know, and exactly. like, it, it's almost like I'm talking. You know, it's like a, it's like I'm trying. It's like my it's like my bot, my brain is trying to comprehend. Yeah. You know, it's like well, it's puppet mode. I've heard TIs that have been made to slap themselves. You know, that yeah. literally it's puppet. They have created a cerebral cortex cloning, and it, initially I think the CIA term was. Rehit remote hypnotic inner cerebral control, and it's like a hypnosis. It has a little influence over you, but it should not have enough that you're gonna.